Governor Whitmer's goal to have universal pre-K by 2027 was the topic of conversation tonight in Detroit among community members, parents, and educators. CBS News Detroit's Luke Lester was at the meeting and has a recap for us tonight. Okay, this is the goal, but how are we going to reach that goal? Sarah Pitchford is the mother of four and five-year-old Eleanor and Charlotte. They're right at the ages where school begins. During COVID, we kind of figured out like what our priorities are very quickly, like health, education, child care, um, those things that were kind of skating by before, we, we started to see the big holes in the system. Pitchford mentions just a few of her personal priorities when looking into her approach of beginning her children's academic careers. What we're doing is during the community input session hosted by early childhood development groups, Hope Starts Here and the Policy Equity Group, an outline of Michigan's pre-K for all implementation plan is discussed among the groups and community members. To actually have that available to all families in Michigan is really important to hear from them how that is going to be delivered. Denise Smith is the implementation director of Hope Starts Here Detroit. She says the expansion of the Michigan Great Start Readiness program that Governor Whitmer discussed in her State of the State address starts with the community here in Detroit which is why holding this input session was important for all groups involved. This is a community that's been under-resourced for a long time and historically uh, represented by black and brown children and families who have not been able to uh, compete at the same levels as of our more fluent communities or better resourced communities. This is really acknowledging that they are equally important in decision making. I think people that live the experience and have kids here and they, they live in Detroit, they send their kids to Detroit, like those are the people that I want to hear from and learn from and really like take what they're saying and make it work. And Pitchford says if anything, she wants research to be shown during these input sessions, proving what works and what doesn't work for these kids. Reporting in Detroit, Luke Laster, CBS News, Detroit.